So, in this video, we're going to derive Heron's formula using the Pythagorean theorem. Um, Heron's formula is a formula for finding the area of a triangle if we know the lengths of the three sides. So, I'll warn you, this is a long derivation. Um, it's easy to get lost along the way, but we're going to give it a try. So, to start off, we're going to have triangle ABC with side lengths ABC. And we're going to drop a line perpendicular to the bottom. So this is going to be a right angle. This is going to have a length of h. And it will divide the bottom into x and c minus x. The first step is to take the Pythagorean theorem of this side. Easy enough. h squared plus x squared equals b squared. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to get c minus x squared plus h squared equals a squared. Now we're wanting, we want to get just x. So we're going to take this formula and we're going to subtract it from this one. When we do that, we're going to get a squared minus b squared on the right. And actually, when we do this, if we expand this out, it's going to be c squared minus 2cx plus x squared plus h squared. So that, that's what this uh, expands to. So when we subtract this, the h is going to go away, the x is going to go away, and we're going to be left with c squared minus 2cx on the left. Now, if we solve for x, which is the one we want, let's see what we get. I'm going to flip it, so I'm going to bring the 2cx over here. So I'm going to do 2cx is positive. It's going to equal c squared minus a squared plus b squared. We're going to divide away the 2c, and we're going to get x is equal to c squared minus a squared plus b squared over 2c. Okay. Step one of a long journey. Now, we're going to bring this back over. Copy it. And we want to plug it into this formula. So, first let's get h by itself. h is going to equal b squared minus x squared. Now we can plug our new x in. So, x squared is equal to b squared minus c we want to write this out a little differently. We'll say b squared plus c squared minus a squared. So I just rearrange the top a little bit. All over 2c squared. Now, what we're going to do, move this up, because we're going to need the space. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to square the top and bottom of this element separately. So this is going to be b squared minus, so the top I'm going to leave alone in a way, that's going to be squared, but then we're actually going to square the bottom, so this is going to be 4c squared. Then what we want to do is get like terms, so I'm going to multiply this by 4c squared over 4c squared, and our new equation is going to be 4b squared c squared minus b squared plus c squared minus a squared squared over 4c squared. So the, uh, the trick here is to be very uh, careful about how fast you go. You want to kind of take your time and figure out where you have um, a difference of squares, and then that'll kind of lead you to the next step. So here, what we do is we separate this element, or we don't separate it, we, we turn it into this, 2bc squared. So we're just rewriting it to look a little differently so that it plays nicely with our other elements. Now, we have a difference of squares on top. So difference of squares... 
means that we have x squared minus y squared, and we can rewrite it as x plus y times x minus y. So in this case, our x is equal to 2bc, and y is equal to this whole thing inside the parentheses, b squared plus c squared minus a squared. So we're going to rewrite it. This is going to be 2bc plus b squared plus c squared minus a squared. And then 2bc minus b squared plus c squared minus a squared. Remember that's all over 4c squared. Then, again, we're going to rewrite the stuff on the top. So for the first one, this is addition here. So we can kind of just get rid of these internal parentheses, which maybe let me do that right now. Take this, take this, delete it. And then we can rewrite this as b squared plus 2bc plus c squared minus a squared. We'll leave that alone. And then on the right side, we're going to distribute this negative sign. So we're going to get 2bc minus b squared minus c squared plus a squared. Cool. Now, I guess I'll keep, keep writing the denominator so we don't forget it. This left side, we can see that this portion here, let me get a different color, is a square of b plus c. So this is actually b plus c squared minus a squared. On the left side, we're going to have, we're going to bring the a squared to the front. And then we're going to basically subtract the rest. So this is going to be in parentheses still. And then we're going to pull a negative one or like multiply a negative one into everything. So we're going to have, so it's going to look like this, I guess, minus it b squared minus c squared plus bc. And so when we do that out, So make sure this is right. A squared plus B squared plus C squared minus BC. And we can rewrite this. Um, minus BC plus C squared. And then what we should be left with inside of here is another um, simplification that we can do, which is going to be B minus C squared. So that's going to be B squared. Oh, I forgot my 2 here. So it's still good. We're still safe. This is minus 2bc. So then this whole thing becomes a squared plus this thing. And we're going to copy this and bring it down. OK, now this is what we're left with. Let me just double check this. So this is going to be, I'm looking at this part, b squared minus 2bc plus c squared. Okay, that looks, that looks good. So now, again, we're over 4c squared, and we can, we see that we have another difference of squares. So in this case, our x is equal to, and we'll say, yeah, b plus c, and our y is equal to a. So we can rewrite this as b plus c plus a times b plus c minus a. And on the left here, our x is equal to, say, a, and our y is equal to b minus c. So we have, it's not a plus sign. A, 
in the weeds, we're deep in the weeds, a times a plus b minus c, then a minus b minus c. Okay. Here I'm going to rewrite the, the numerator before I bring the denominator back just because it's kind of annoying to keep doing that. b plus c plus a, and then we're going to have b plus c minus a, and then a plus b minus c. And the tricky part, don't forget to distribute this uh, negative sign, a minus b plus c. Okay. Now, this part is where I don't understand how Heron did it or knew to do it, but he introduced the concept of s, which is the perimeter a plus b plus c over 2. And what we're able to do here is we're going to rewrite each of these terms in terms of s. Um, the trick here is say we multiply the two across, 2s is a plus b plus c. Um, so for the first element, this one, this is just 2s. So we're going to have 2s. For the second one, we want the perimeter minus a. So I kind of got tripped up the first time I did this because I thought I could just do 2s minus a. But if you do that, then it's a plus b plus c minus a, and you're left with just b plus c. So what you actually have to do, get rid of this, is you have to do 2s minus 2a. And that's going to leave you with, you know, 1 less a. Write it out real fast, plus c minus 2a. You're going to cancel this, cancel that, and you'll have 1 less. So you'd be b plus c minus a. This can be rewritten as 2 times s minus a. So we're going to use this pattern to rewrite each of these uh, other three elements. So this one becomes 2, two times s minus a. This one is 2 times s minus c. And this one is 2 times s minus b. Let me just grab this and get rid of it. All right, so now we have all of this over 4c squared. What we can do now is multiply the 2s out. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16 times s, s minus a, s minus, I'll just put them in order now, s minus b, s minus c, all over 4c squared. This 4 gets canceled out, and we're left with 4 times s, s minus a, s minus b, s minus c, over c squared. And let's remember that this is h squared that we're solving for. Okie dokie. Now, what we want to do is we want to solve for just h, so we're going to take the square root of this whole thing. Maybe let me make this a little bit more clear. So h is going to be how you can think about this is actually the square root of 4, and then s, s minus a, s minus b, s minus c, all over square root of c squared. Okay, so this makes it a little bit easier to look at. h is going to equal to 2 times the square root of s, s minus a, s minus b. A little bit repetitive here, but in the name of being accurate and covering all of the bases, this is what we got. So this is h. Now, the final step here is we know that the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half the base times the height. So we have our height. If we go way back up to our triangle, our base is c. So let's come back down. Plug in our values. A is equal to 1 half the base, which is C, times 2 square root of S, S minus A, 
S minus B, S minus C over C. And now, elegantly, the half and the two cancel, and the C and the C cancel. And Heron's formula, in all of its glory, is A square root of S times the S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. And so if you know all three sides of a triangle, you can figure out the area. How beautiful.